morning everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a that girl routine i'm going to be trying to be that girl all day um if you don't know what that is basically it was like a tiktok trend kind of where that girl she's like productive she's put together she wakes up early she's healthy and i thought i would try it out today so if you guys don't know who i am i literally don't wake up until like 11 o'clock every day and I stay up super late. So I went to bed at like 2 a.m. last night, but here I am up. I got up at 6 a.m. I'm just now getting going. The sun is like just starting to rise. Actually, Michael, walk outside and look at that real quick because it has been a minute since I've seen that. Okay, the sun is up way more than I thought it was already, so not much of a sunrise. So I guess I kind of missed the sunrise while I was getting ready, but it's definitely still like very nice lighting outside, and it smells like fall outside, and I love that like morning smell outside. Anyways, let's get into my that girl day. <laughs> so all I've done today is just like get ready, wash my face, brush my teeth, put on an outfit. First off, for some reason, I feel like that girl drinks lemon water. I guess it's like healthy or whatever, so we're gonna make some. I literally despise lemon water, but here we go. It's actually not bad. I don't know what kind of health benefit this is. I always see people say like, oh, drink lemon water. I think it's supposed to be like warm, but I put one ice cube in there just, just to mix it up a little bit. I gotta take like cute aesthetic pictures, don't I? How do I make this look aesthetic? I'll just go on the floor, I guess. I don't know. Let me look up lemon water pictures. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. Don't know how to make this aesthetic. <laughs> Next up in my that girl routine is to drink lots of water and get my body moving. So I'm just gonna stretch out a little bit and then get started with my workout. definitely awake. I'm gonna go shower and put on a cute outfit for the day. because I felt like the top was just not the vibe. So now I'm just wearing like a tank top with a cardigan in my leggings. I did my makeup and then I just did my hair in a little bun because I actually have a hair appointment today in like two hours, so. So the next two things on my to-do list is gonna be doing my Bible study, maybe doing some journaling, I need to make breakfast, and I need to get some work done. So I am going to start with my reading. Okay, so it's breakfast time now, except I desperately need to go to the grocery store, like really, really bad. I have no eggs, I have no fruit, I really have like nothing. Um, yeah, I don't even know. So I was looking through my freezer and I have some meatballs. 
also, I think I'm gonna make these for breakfast. A that girl breakfast would of course be avocado toast. And I was like, oh, I'll make avocado toast with an egg on top and that'll be so good. But no, I don't have any eggs. I finished them all yesterday. And I don't have time to go to the store and come back and get my work done before going to my hair appointment. So I am gonna make avocado toast and then I'll make meatballs for my protein. I've been trying to avoid carbs when I can. So I don't really eat bread anymore, but I found this like, keto friendly bread and there's only two grams net carbs so i don't really like to eat toast but i'll make some avocado toast i guess just for the video and my meatballs i haven't had meatballs in so long i honestly like kind of a fan at least last time i had them i liked them since i never eat toast anymore like my toaster is put away so Got a full on get out my toaster. So while my breakfast is making, well I can make my avocado while we talk. So far, I actually am really enjoying this. Like I love being awake when no one else is awake. And 6 a.m. is definitely that time. I felt like I was all alone. Like there was no one awake making noise or walking by my apartment. So that was nice. Now, if I were to wake up early all the time, I would have to go to bed early. And I also like staying up late because no one's awake. So I don't know, I guess it's debate in my head and I don't know what the deal was. Like I woke up, ah! I woke up like 45 minutes before my alarm and then just laid in bed for a little bit. So I guess I was just excited to wake up early today. I don't know. But I feel like I'm gonna get so much done today but I also am wondering if I'm gonna end up having like a crash in the afternoon. Normally, if my hair appointment was at 11, I would have woken up at 10.30. So. All right, here's my aesthetic that girl breakfast avocado toast. Psych, I have a plate of meatballs. <laughs> All right, first we'll try the toast. Mm. I do love avocado, so that was really good. Meatball. Hot. All right, not bad, not my favorite. I need some like sauce to dip it in. What kind of sauce do you dip meatballs in? I made my breakfast and then I'm just gonna get some work done. And boom, just finished my work. I have about 10 minutes until I need to leave for my hair appointment and I'm gonna grab coffee on the way so I'm leaving a little early. But I'm just gonna sit here for the next like 10 minutes and I haven't really checked my phone yet so I'm gonna check my phone, reply to some DMs and just relax for a minute. coffee at Starbucks real quick. I also forgot to mention that I changed my outfit again. This is the problem with me being up and having a lot of time to get ready. I will change my outfit like 20 times. And now I'm wearing the most simple outfit ever, but you know what, it's fine. just got done getting my hair done. I didn't really film in there because I wasn't really doing anything. I was just getting a conditioning treatment and then she straightened it and gave me a little bang trim. I love my hairstyle so much. We always have so much fun and laugh together. So that was really fun. Um, other than that, what, I don't know what else to do today for being that girl, but I'm gonna drive home. So I went and just threw on some little shorts because I really needed to wash the leggings I was wearing and I actually have a lot of laundry to do. Let's do some laundry. Also, I only ate like two meatballs. They were not very good. With working out, I definitely go through a lot more clothes because I wear like two outfits a day basically. And a lot of like the leggings I wear to work out, I also like to wear as just leggings for the day. So it's kind of annoying. Okay, it fits, but it is, it is tug, snug, snug. So it's the next day. I didn't vlog anything else for that day, but I wanted to do a little review and show you guys a little bit of things that I did after I stopped vlogging. So I did end up going to the grocery store. I hung up a bunch of stuff, so let me show you that. I completed this wall and I think it looks really nice. I know it's like off center from the table, but I moved the table over so I have all this like room now. And then I hung these up in my studio. So yeah, it was a super, super productive day. Even my Apple watch was showing how productive I was yesterday. 
And I really liked the vibes of when I first woke up and just like, I felt like I was all alone and like no one else in the world existed. I loved that feeling for a little bit. So I definitely like waking up earlier than everyone, more than waking up at like noon, but I also love staying up late. So it's definitely a toss up for me. I was gonna wake up early again this morning. I set my alarm for 7 a.m. The alarm went off and I think I was just so exhausted because I did stay up till like midnight, even though I woke up at 6 a.m. I woke up at 1 p.m. today, so it didn't last, <laughs> but I maybe will try to wake up again early tomorrow. And let me know if you guys would want to see a video of me trying to wake up early for like an entire week, like a 6 a.m. morning routine for an entire week, and see if I can actually stick with it and be productive, because I literally got so much done yesterday, and I wish I was doing that today. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed me trying to be that girl. Uh, it was pretty fun. As far as actually being that girl, I do see how it could be a little toxic. Like you have to be nice to yourself, and be lenient with yourself. But also if you're trying to get into a routine or you just want to stay busy, being that girl is a great way to do that. Being productive and waking up early and working out and being healthy, like those are all great things to achieve. Just don't put too much pressure to change too many things about yourself at once because that's usually how you fail. Start with one thing and then go from there. That's what I'm doing at least. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!